everybody welcome back to my channel Rally's here I what yes I'm doing more English videos now I even went to the library people I went to pick up some books and I was like yeah I'm gonna catch on my English I need to read mm -hmm. people take your kids take yourselves go get some books and if you you don't got nothing else to do you're like oh, I'm bored get a book and read get your imagine imagination going because sometimes we don't do that no more okay and it's good to practice practice on your reading i mean you know get educated um something that you're like wow i want to learn more read okay youtube google whatever but get your mind going get that little mouse running in there <laughs> well welcome back to this section what whatever comes out we talk about we'll talk about it um, I talk from the heart from experience I tell you how it is I've been there I've done it I'm not here to judge anybody mm -mm. you do you boo you do your life <laughs> um, I'm just here to tell you the things how they are an advice or something the message will get to you if you need it and if not it's okay there's more creators there's more content if you're not if you don't like what you you're looking at what you're listening to then move on whatever gives you happiness whatever gives you peace support them people okay thank you thank you so much for your support in english or in spanish thank you Gracias. So let's see what we talk about today. Okay, two two papers came out. This little tiny one and this one. So let's start with this one. Yes, my people. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This one is a long one. I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says my daughter, fourteen doesn't want to listen to me at all because I used to be on drugs and I in was an alcoholic. But now I've been sober for two years. Amen to that, amen to that, proud of that. How can I start a relationship with my daughter? What? Well, First of all, back then, when you were doing drugs, when you was an alcoholic, back then, you made decisions, you took action. You decided it was you, because it was your life. So, guess what? Now there's consequences. And those consequences is that relationship with your daughter. First of all, amen, amen, you're being sober. Amen to that. You work so hard, you put on the work, but what if temptation comes around? Are you gonna stay sober? Or are you gonna break down just because you don't have a good relationship with your daughter? Just because you think, oh, everything's drama and Everything just screams and uh, are you gonna give up? Or are you gonna be, no, I'm loyal to myself. I love myself and I have love in my heart and I'm gonna keep going because I still have life to live. I did learn my lesson and I'm thankful for that because I already went through it. Yeah, the relationship might not be good with your daughter, but guess what? Now she has to learn it. And now she has to learn either from your example or from what? From life. Because life gives you the lesson, the needs that you need because it's your life. Okay, start somewhere. Start by sitting down with your kid and start telling them all oh, and everything, how you feel, 
can be proud. It can be anything. Just tell it. Say it right there. Make a make some food that they like and sit down with them. Listen to your kid, but really listen to them. Pay attention, because they can tell you lies. But if you really know your kid and you look into their eyes, you know they're lying. You know there's something going through them. Maybe somebody's taking advantage of them, manipulating them, mistreating them. But yeah, because you're so into life, into work, into other problems and other people's business, you don't see your kid. You're not paying attention to your kid. So don't make the same mistakes that you did back then in this life. Because now, like you say, she doesn't want to listen to you. Now you have to start again. Accepting those consequences of all your actions and all of your decisions that you took while you were making drugs, being an alcoholic. You have to teach them that, hey, even if I went through all of that, guess what? I'm a better person. You see me at work. You see me. Maybe, yes, we don't sit down and talk as we used to, or not at all. But guess what? Today's different, and today's going to change. And today, I'm going to tell you how I feel. There's limits. In this house, there's limits. In this house, if you see the trash full, take out the trash. If you see dishes in the sink, do them. But guess what? Don't be that person. Don't be the one that leaves everything behind for somebody else to do it. Because you know they're going to do it. Because they don't like a kitchen, a, a, a sink full of dirty dishes. Guess what? You're done eating your cereal? Wash your plate. Put it away. Boom. Why? Because you know your mom just got done working a 14-hour shift. And she knows that she walks by and she sees those dishes, guess what? She's gonna get frustrated. It's been a long, hard day. Just because you don't wanna do it, just because you're too lazy. No. No matter what your age is, do it to yourself too. Cause sometimes we, we come back from work and we're like, damn, doing the dishes. But I was the one that ate that cereal that made that and I just left it there. Knowing that when I was gonna come back from work, it was still gonna be there. So why even get mad at myself? I did it to myself, exactly. So there it is. Me being a 35 year old, I'm not 35, I'm 31. <laughs> Me being a 31 year old, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm done with my cereal, whatever it is, wash it, put it away. Because after work, I want to come back and I want to smoke, drink a little wine and come back and just relax. I want to enjoy my kids. I don't want to come back and be like, ah, dang it, I, forget. I didn't do the dishes. Or again, people, nobody did the dishes. Wait, what? Nobody took out the trash? You have to put them, it's because you have to tell them since they're young. Since they're itty bitty tiny, pick up after themselves. And there's trash, take it out. Don't matter if you're a boy or girl, don't. It's your house. You live in the house. Do it. Why? Because when you get to have your own apartment, your own home, your own house, you're still going to have to do it yourself. Are you going to let that? Just because you're a girl, you have your own apartment, but how am I going to touch the, the trash? Nah. Nah. Grab it and take it out. Nothing's going to happen to you. No. That's what I'm saying. So, you want to have a better relationship with your daughter? You have to start from yourself and from little by little by little. Don't force it. Because if you force it, no. It has to come from right here. <clears throat> from right here. 
Because if you are here, you're going to be like, yeah, I want to have a better relationship with my daughter. Yeah, I'm going to call her. Yeah, I'm going to be right there with her. This and that. But as soon as drama hits, it, that's another person. Yeah, because you're not doing it from the heart. When you do it from the heart, you know your rights and your wrongs. And you know when to walk away and when, when, when to just stop. Like I tell you, if it's from the heart, the other person will feel it and the other person will see it. Or if not, then, oh, my alarm. <laughs> I have to go get my kiddos from school. So yeah, and if they don't feel it, they're not gonna do it. Then I'm like, yeah, I know my mom, in two or three months, she'll, she'll come back to the same old person, to her old self. Hmm? So no. You, that's why you just have to take it step by step, little by little, trying different ways to get to your daughter, to get to that person that you that you really want back in your life. It takes time and it takes a lot of actions from your part and from their part. But it also takes a lot for you to recognize, okay? I made my point. And if this person does not want to see it, it's time to let go. Because that person has to learn, has to see, has to go through that for them to understand you. And then they'll make a decision and if they still want to live the way they're living, drama, problems, they will. And if not, it's up to them. So it's up to you to say, okay, I gave it my all. It's all right. It's okay. Time to move on. Because you're not in charge of the other person's life. Actions, decisions, no. Even if you're your mom, even if you're the mom, even if you're the dad. Mm -mm. Their life, your life. And if you have peace, they have peace. If you're loved, they're loved. If you love, you're loved. So you just have to see who, how, when, why, where, okay? So good luck. And I'm pretty sure that your daughter is gonna see the mom that she really needs that's gonna be right there for her. I'm not gonna judge her. It's gonna be right there to tell her, you can do it. If I get it, you can do it. If you're proud of me, I'm proud of you. If you wanna get this going, we'll get this going. And if not, it's okay. Because that way, you give them their space, they'll heal, and then they'll come back to you. And then, since you're already healed, and your heart is full of love and happiness and peace, guess what? It grows even bigger, okay? So, just be patient, and it takes a lot of time. Little by little, day by day, enjoy the moment. Because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow or in 10 minutes, okay? So, have a good day, a good month, a good year. Make the best out of it. Do you, boo? All right? Ciao.